Hey guys, how's it going? Just thought I'd do a dual review here of Fall Cybertron Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus. Um, here, obviously, as you can see, they're both pretty much the same mold. The only actual mold difference is the head. Ultra Magnus has a different head than Optimus. Other than that, they're just recolors. Um, I'll go ahead and just give you a 360 of Optimus first. He's okay looking. Um, it's, you know, he's an average looking mold. He's not great, not terrible. Um, I felt he could probably have done with some better coloring and paint apps. And uh, kind of in uh, the general consensus among the fan community is that this toy was kind of a disappointment because they were comparing him here to this guy. Which, of course, is the original War for Cybertron Optimus. And I have to say, this is a much better toy. No doubt about it. Um, than this one. And I can kind of see why that's, you know, a disappointment. Because, A, this toy is much larger. Has a lot more paint apps, more detail. And, quite frankly, in my opinion, is just more original looking than this Optimus. He's, this one, you've... The closest Optimus uh, that I would say this guy matches up to was the uh, unreleased Trans Tech Optimus that they never did. Anyway, but enough about him. I just brought him in mostly for a size comparison to show you what he looks like next to him. So, um, you know, there's Optimus in vehicle mode. Here's Ultra Magnus. And I think, honestly, Ultra Magnus is a better use for this mold. Um, again, I find the... Uh, mode to be overall a little bit lackluster um, but he does have better coloring than Optimus he's got more paint apps uh, looks a little cooler I mean it's not a huge improvement but you know there they are in vehicle mode and that's pretty much it oh I did want to do a size comparison with one of their compatriots here Jazz and they scale relatively well with him so I'll go ahead and get him out of the way um, that's pretty much going to wrap up their um, vehicle modes. I'll be back in a flash to go over robot mode. Alright guys, here we have Ultra Magnus and Optimus uh, transformed in into their robot modes. And as you can see, they are identical molds except for the heads. That's the, really the only part that is um, molded differently. Other than that, these guys are identical, you know, save for coloring. Now, um... Ultra Magnus actually did come with an accessory that Optimus did not. He came with this uh, sword. Optimus did not come with the sword. Um, out of the two, I think Ultra Magnus is the better looking toy. I'll go ahead and just give you the um, 360 on him. Um, he's decent. He's a decent mold. Is he a must-have? No. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Optimus is a must-have either. These guys um, are optional, really. Uh... But if you want to fill out your Autobot ranks a little bit with the Cybertronian Autobot, they're not bad to have. I would say they're fairly average figures. They're not um, really too great or too terrible. They're right there in the middle. So whether you want to pick these guys up or not really just depends if you uh, like the general aesthetic of these toys and, uh, you know, if you feel justified. These guys are... Still fairly widely available at retail. I see them in stores all the time. Anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, go over their articulation. I'll just do it with Optimus because obviously these guys have identical, uh, they're identical molds. Anyway, his uh, foot can go forward and back, rotates, bends at the knee, doesn't rotate at the knee, goes forward, back, in, out, rotates at the top of the leg. We got waist rotation. We've got shoulder rotation. We uh, spin there at the bicep. Bend at the elbow. Wrist rotation. And heads on a ball joint, so that means all the directions. I mean, you know, um, I do like the head sculpt on Optimus, though. I gotta admit, that is pretty nice. Um, but overall, the figure's just kind of meh. You know, and I'll go ahead and just bring Ultra Magnus close in here. That way you can kind of see what he looks like close up. Um, I think the mold works for... <laughs> I think the mold works for Ultra Magnus better than Optimus, honestly. But, you know, they're like I said, they're both okay to have. Neither must-haves or passes. 
Anyway, um, that's pretty much going to wrap this whole thing up. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.